wish you all a very happy morning students today we are going to take up exercise 2.3 of ncert this exercise is based upon division of polynomial so if you have the concept of division of polynomials you can solve this exercise about division you have studied in standard 8 division of polynomials so we have to take care of the standard form arrangement of the given polynomial and then dividing it so let us take some examples question number 1 divide the polynomial p of x by the polynomial g of x and find the quotient and remainder in each of the following let me take the second part there are three different parts of this question 1 2 and 3 so i am solving the second part of the first question here p of x is given we can say p of x is given this is question number 1 part 2 in the same manner you can solve part 1 and part 3 so we have p of x is equal to x to the power 4 minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 And g of x is g of x is equal to x square plus one minus x. So when we are dividing, we should keep in mind the arrangement according to descending order of the powers of x. X to the power four. There is no term involving x cube. X square is there. Four x is there. Here we have x square. Then there should be x and one. So why are we writing? We are going to write it in this form. X to the power four plus. We can write zero into x cube because there is no term involving x cube. Minus three x square plus four x plus five, and we will divide it by x square minus x. So note this arrangement. After x square, we are taking Minus x plus one. Now you have to see the first term here. Here we have x to the power four. So x square into x square will be x to the power four minus x cube. So we have kept a place for x cube. So minus x cube will be written just below this and plus x square. Now we need to subtract. Sign will change. On changing the sign, we will find x to the power four will get cancelled. This will give us x cube. Here we will get minus three x square minus x square is minus four x square plus four x and plus five will be carried. So we are carrying plus four x and five. Now we will see the first term. Here we have x cube and here we are having x square. So it will go plus x times x cube minus x square plus x. Let us do the subtraction. So x cube will be cancelled. This will give us minus three x square. Then we have plus three x plus five. So it will go minus three times. So if we take it minus three times, so we are going to get minus three x square plus three x and one into minus three is minus three. So on subtraction, this will be plus, this will be minus, this will be plus. This can be cancelled, this can be cancelled, and five plus three, eight will be the remainder. So after this division, we can write down. Q of x is equal to x square plus x minus t, and the remainder r of x is a constant polynomial h. So this is how we are going to divide a polynomial p of x by another polynomial g of x. In the same manner, you can solve the first question part one and part three on your own. Let us see the second question. Check 
whether the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial by dividing the second polynomial by the first polynomial. So we have to check whether the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial. Now the concept is if the first polynomial divides the second polynomial exactly, it means the remainder is equal to 0. In that case, we will say that the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial, otherwise it is not a factor if the remainder is not equal to 0. So let us try to solve this question. This is also based on division, but the question is asked in a different way. Same question on division is asked in a different way. So let us check. Question number 2, first part. Question number 2, part 1. So we have the first polynomial as a t square minus 3. We have the first polynomial as t square minus 3. And the second polynomial is given 2t to the power 4 plus 3t u minus 2t square minus 9t minus 12. So let us proceed. We will divide the second polynomial by the first polynomial. Same logic will be applicable here. You have to write the powers in descending order. t to the power 4, then we have t cube, then t square minus 9t minus 12. And you need to divide it by t square. You can also write plus 0 into t or simply t square minus 3 directly. So I am writing t square minus 3 directly. Division is also possible if we write it as t square after that t to the power 1 should be there. So if there is no term, you can write plus 0 into t and then minus 3. Otherwise, we can do it directly. We need to see the first term. It is 2t to the power 4 and here we have t square. So it will go t 2 times t square. So it is 2t to the power 4 minus 3 into 2t square. So it will become minus 6 t square. So we will write the term involving t square just below t square. If nothing is there, it means the term under t cube will be left blank. So if you would have given 0, then we should have written 0 into t cube. Now we will do subtraction. 2t to the power 4 will be cancelled out. It will become 3t cube plus 4t square because minus 2 plus 6 is plus 4t square minus 9t minus 12. Now it will go plus 3t times. So it will be 3 into t cube and minus 9t. 3 3 is a 9t. We will do the subtraction. Minus plus sign will be changed. This will be cancelled out. We are getting 4t square minus 12. Now it will go 4 times plus 4 plus 4. So it will be 4t square minus 12. 3 4 is a 12. On changing the sign, this will be cancelled. This will also be cancelled. Remainder is 0. So you have to find out whether the first polynomial is a factor of the second or not. So you will write since r of x is equal to 0, that is since the remainder is equal to 0, therefore the first polynomial or you can write the polynomial directly. The first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial. So we can write the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial. 
In case, in such questions, when you are not getting the remainder equal to zero, it means the first polynomial will not be the factor of the second polynomial. So this is what you have to understand. So I hope rest of the question of question number two can be solved by you on your own. Thank you.